Hello, welcome everybody to today's book review. Today we are going to be reviewing our second uh, textbook that I read during my church history class, and that is The Story of Christian Theology by Dr. Roger E. Olson. Olson is a professor of theology at Bayer University in Waco, Texas, and this book, like our previous book, is on church history. Basically, uh, this, like the other book, is covering church history from the beginning of the church at Pentecost all the way up until today, except the synopsis is a little bit different, whereas um, church history in plain language was discussing the church as a narrative. This book isn't really discussing it as a narrative. It's discussing the movements of theology throughout church history. So it's really looking more at what did the church believe, what did it teach, especially on the subject of salvation and the person of God throughout the entire history of the church. The first thing I'd like to say about this book is that it is very, very detailed. And uh, this is somewhat of a good thing. You're not, you're not lacking in details at all. It goes over just about any question that I think you could possibly have about theology or about how people thought uh, this is this is going over it in great detail, especially on the subjects of salvation. One of the other things that is good about this book is that I think it can help people have a grounded understanding of theology and what is good theology. By looking at the entirety of church history, we can see what orthodoxy was going as a straight line from Jesus until today, and we can see what different heresies were or what different errors were that branched off from that mainstream and a book like this can help us see that and understand it and keep us grounded in right theology. That being said, the difficulties of this book is that it is a very difficult read. It, it was not like the other book in that it was written for lay people. I think Olson writes in his introduction that he was writing this for lay people, but really uh, this was a difficult read, really for a college level, maybe a master's level reading in my opinion. Uh, very detailed, a lot of technical language, a lot of background information where it almost seems like Olson is assuming that his readers uh, already have a fairly good understanding of church history and he's just filling in some blanks as far as theology goes. So um, that makes it a little bit difficult. And also uh, there seems to be a very slight, it's not an obvious or a hard, but a very slight um, reformed bias throughout the book, whereas... Uh, Shelley, as he was writing, you couldn't really tell uh, where his theological perspective was unless you looked him up. But uh, you can tell Olson has kind of a Reformed, Baptist-esque uh, theology, and as he is examining the theology throughout church history, he's looking at it from a perspective of uh, how much does this kind of line up with my theological background. It doesn't. It's not super strong. It's not very bad. Uh, but it is something that I noticed a little bit as I was reading this book. So that is our review. Uh, overall, I would give the story of Christian theology an 8.5 out of 10. And the reason it is slightly higher than church history and plain language is just because of how detailed and how rich the reading is. But um, if I'm comparing them for ease of reading and enjoyment of reading, the other book was much easier to read, much more enjoyable to read. But uh, this one had a lot more rich information. So uh, if you're interested in church history, this might be good for you. Uh, if you're, you know, really researching into this, it might be good for you. But otherwise, this is something that probably most lay people could avoid. So thank you for watching today. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe, like the video, leave a comment, let me know what you think, and check out our other book reviews on this playlist. Thank you very much and have a blessed day.